Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 14 days for today's second video. Day 10 will take us to the 4th of February and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended Jeff Bears and ECM ensembles. They run to around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks and that gets us towards the last stage of February. I'll get time back for you in a moment. Just say that first. Video only sales are 6 a.m. UK weather forecast and no European app up today that will be back next thursday um now i had a few days off over weekend of start of this week due to having the lurgy and, <laughs> and coughing and and uh, wheezing and whatnot um i'm a lot better and i'm just starting to get the uh, videos uh back but i am feeling quite tired and fatigued at my, after that chesty bug so um uh, but for the time being i'm just doing a couple of videos uh a day and gradually building up uh, the content so next week all of uh, all of the additional sort of add-ons and whatnot um will return along with live streams uh as well i hope that's okay uh with everybody please like share subscribe on all today's videos we only need to put on around 75 subscribers to get ourselves to um 17.9k so if you if you could give us a sub that would be incredible, and we will thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, okay, just want to start off in the stratosphere uh, today, because as I say, didn't do strat watch yesterday, so we would have covered this in uh, strat watch. Uh, uh, yesterday, strat watch will be back next week, but we confirm here that we have indeed had a major sudden stratospheric warming event. So uh, this is from the JMA, so you, you know, you're familiar with this chart, this chart. We look at it quite a lot. But just here, um, stratospheric circulation. Last update, 22nd of January 2024. They say a major stratospheric sudden warming SSW event started at 30 HPA level in the Northern Hemisphere around the 18th of January <coughs> excuse me, 2024. And uh, then they say C criteria in the explanation, which of course is just there. So, yes, the JMA confirming, remember this is the Japanese Meteorological Agency, they're confirming that we have indeed seen and had a major sudden stratospheric warming event with a reversal of zonal winds. It started at the 30 HPA level, but zonal winds was, was reversed at 10 HPA. And uh, uh, yeah, so now we've got to wait and see what, if any, impacts of that. Uh, we get so this is uh, temperature currently looking at 10 HPA. The black line just here, just a little bit above the uh, the grey line now. The grey line is long term average, of course. So we're close to average uh, with the temperature at 10 HPA in the stratosphere overall. If I go a little bit lower down to 30 HPA, there we see quite a significant drop in stratospheric temperature taking place as well. And again, we are now close to uh, the long-term average, close to minus 70. So at the moment, we are in a cooling phase in terms of stratospheric temperatures at both 10 and 30 HPA. This is how things are currently looking in terms of related GFS run for the next couple of weeks. So the blue curves here, this is the polar vortex at its roots in stratosphere. So despite all of the warming events that we've been having through this winter, um, most of the minor, we of course did reverse the zone wind as well, um, and all the displacement events and whatnot, the polar vortex is still in business, it's still there, albeit looking rather um, bedraggled and a little bit displaced still, but a uh, polar vortex still well and truly, you know, alive and well. Now, we run through the next few weeks, we see those blue colours continue to ro rotate around, again, displaced really, over towards the uh, Siberian side of the Arctic and the Pole, but uh, just generally looking quite cold or close to average, I think, with the temperature at 10 HPA, no sign of any renewed warming. And uh, that's the case as we go into the extended with GFS as well. That gets us away to the 10th of February. Again, no sign of any particular uh, warming event over the next couple of weeks. Um, that's a little bit of a, of a warming taking place there from the Mediterranean uh, up into southern parts of Russia, maybe. But, uh, of course, that's right at the very end of the GFS run anyway, so a long way off and is well short of an SSW in any case. So for the time being, it looks like things are, are becoming rather quieter in terms of, uh, of, of temperatures at 10 HPA. It looks like just going to see a general, <coughs> excuse me, a general cooling going on. 
This is how uh, the Zyda Winged is coat looking. This is from Weather is Cool. So, uh, of course, yes, we did get a reversal of Zyda Winged. It only lasted for about, for about a day, but we did reverse the Zyda Winged. I think it lasted two days to reverse the uh, Zyda Winged went under the all-important zero line there. Zyda Winged are now back to average. So, along the temperature at 10 HPA and 30 HPA being close to average, Zyda Winged back to average. It tells us about the polar vortex. is basically, um, you know, uh, coming back and... Uh, uh, and, and has survived, really, the uh, onslaught when it's been through. Now, for the next couple of weeks, this is how the GFS is looking. And if this is right, Zona Winds are going to power up and become very strong in the next couple of weeks, going significantly stronger than average here with those uh, green lines. Maybe signs of a little bit of a drop later on, but it certainly looks like um, as we go to the end of January, particularly into the early part of February, we are going to see a very strong uh, zone of wind, so a very strong polar vortex, which is quite remarkable given everything that the polar vortex has been through during this winter, all of the displacements and, you know, knocking it around and you know, even reversing the zone of wind, see the zone of wind power, powering up like that. Uh, and, the, uh, and the PV becoming very strong is quite remarkable. So, um, interesting development, stratosphere-wise. Uh, There's certainly no sign of uh, any renewed sort of um, warming of the stratosphere in the next couple of weeks, or SSW, etc., etc., et and uh, we shall keep you updated and keep you posted. Okay, so central in temperature. Hold on, again, everybody. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, sorry, once more. Uh, central temperature is currently sitting at 4 degrees. That's 0.2 of a degree above 61 to 99. Average that bridge to yesterday to the 24th of January. I've got a theme which is going to finish up in the thighs, given that the um, next or final week of January is looking really quite mild. And we can see this with the upper air temperatures. So um, this would be uh, GFS upper air temperature ensemble for Cardiff, the red line. Is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Cardiff starting off above average at the moment? Very mild at the moment. We are going to see a little bit of a drop around Friday, but then over weekend into next week, going very mild again. That gets into the beginning of February. And as we go through the first week of February, um, dates on bottom chart, of course, we go through the first week of February. You know, we're close to average there, but on the mild of an average side, there's not many ensemble members that are going cold. Yesterday we did have a few ensemble members that were down here um, in towards the second week of February. Not many of them doing that now. So it looks like the next couple of weeks is solidly milder than average. And as far as precipitation is concerned, well, some wet weather coming up um, uh, through the second half of this week, but actually a lot of dry weather into the weekend and the start of next week, then turning more unsettled maybe through the first week of February. Temperature anomalies from the 25th of January, 2nd of February, coming out milder than average. All parts of Europe away from Greece and Turkey are, <laughs> are included in that. And precipitation anomalies from the 25th of January, 2nd of February, drier than normal, except for Western Scotland, where it is a little bit on the wetter side. Then she's wind for a map from earthnoschool.net. Shows that we're bringing southwesterly winds again today, but it's quite an active weather front, though. But just here, that brings some quite wet weather across the country tonight. And then behind that, we bring in some slightly fresher air from the North Atlantic. This time, more of a polar maritime air stream temporarily for the end of the week, but won't last long. South Westerners will be back by the weekend. And that takes us very nicely into the uh, latest UK Met Euro run with high pressure on uh, midnight uncertainty, high pressure over Germany, low pressure around Greenland, Iceland, and we're drawing up those very mild southwesterly winds. Once again, into the beginning of next week, high pressure builds over and to the east of the country, low pressure is out to the west. <coughs> and uh, then we push through to the middle of next week, still keeping high pressure temperatures going in the south, a little bit more unsettled in the north, a lot of dry weather and very mild as we get to. Uh, next Thursday, which of course is the first day of February. Uh, Icon looks like that again, drawing up that southwesterly wind on Sunday. I could bring you pushing very mild temperatures with it as well. Into uh, next week, higher pressure to the east, higher pressure out to west winds remaining, generally a mild subly direction. And all the way up to the end of the Icon run. Which again gets us to Thursday, the 1st of February. We've got high pressure across France, Spain, Portugal, low pressure around Greenland, Iceland, and around the top of that high pressure we're drawing up southwesterly winds from the Azores. So a classic, sort of mild, very mild type scenario through next week. 
Uh, Jeff has been tight, though. Looking like this again, drawing up those southwesterly winds, and uh, they carry on into the beginning of next week as well. A lot of high pressure just to our south, brings dry, dry weather to southern parts of the country, but northern areas looking very mild here. Look at this southwesterly. What a long fetch southwest about it. It's Saturday, 3rd of February. The air is originating there. Um, southwest of the Azores, actually, maybe from Bermuda, somewhere like that, uh, and uh, wafting up into the north and west of Europe. So, if I say these uh, charts are an absolute nightmare for anybody who wants cold, cold weather, if you want cold and snow, get behind the stage long. Uh, these charts really do look very, very grim. Um, beyond that, you know, we just keep high pressure to the south, and eventually we start to be more unsettled as well, with low pressure. Begins coming in from off the Atlantic. So finishing up uh, quite wet with deep low pressure just to our west and southwest. The GFS 6 there. Again, uh, looking very mild. Excuse me once more, everybody, through the early part of next week. We do have a go with the GFS 6 there around day 9 and 10 of putting in some slightly colder air from the northwest. It looks like it's about to drop in uh, a cold snap there at day 10. That's uh, Sunday. 4th of February, but actually, no, nothing <laughs> nothing comes of that. I would just drag up this southwesterly uh, once again. So, off and running, we go into another push of uh, very, very mild, but also quite wet weather. Finishing up with GFS 6 z on the cusp of the cold snap. Most of the cold zone, we can't do it. We're on the periphery of it, and still that high pressure cling on like Olympic, close to uh, Spain and Portugal, that course being the Azores. Hi, now I haven't shown much KMA, but as I've got Metro Seal up, you can actually have a look at that, so there's the KMA just there, okay, so this would be KMA, it doesn't go out as far as the uh, GFS, but it goes for 288 hours, so again, drawing up that southwesty wind on Sunday, high pressure then, maintained to our south throughout next week, looking exceptionally mild uh, next week, and we finish up the KMA looking like that, just again, perhaps into your, trying to uh, develop a little bit of a cold snap there, around 6th of February, as we draw in this northwesterly wind, how long that will last, you know, probably not very long, uh, there's no sort of blocking to support that, but it is trying to get a little bit colder there, by the very end of the KMA run. If you enjoyed the video, I know it's pretty grim if you like car weather, but if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. to Percy though, but a lot of people do like mild weather, and so uh, I'm sure you you are all enjoying this video. Um, if you enjoyed the video anyway, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos? And don't get to friends about guys where it's as I say, we need to put on around 75 subscribers to get to. Um, 17.9k. Uh, so if you could give us a sub, help get us to ultimately 18,000 subscribers would be nice for the end of the winter. I'm not sure if that's doable or not, though. Um, but uh, if you could give us a sub, then uh, thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. It would be greatly appreciated. Okay, the GM again, we bring up that southwesterly wind on Sunday, looking very mild. Then into the uh, middle of next week again, high pressure to our south and east, high pressure out to west, winds remaining. Remaining even from a mild uh, uh, southerly southwest direction. Try to go a little bit cooler there around Thursday uh, next week, drawing in a little bit more of a northwesterly that again doesn't last long, and we're back into those southwesterly uh, winds by day 10 to the 4th of February. Again, low pressure close to Greenland, Iceland, and high pressure is around uh, France, so reaching up from the Azores and looking very mild there. And then finally, the ECM like that again with those southwesterly winds for the weekend into next week for a lot of pancake through the middle of next week high pressure again around france spain portugal low pressure around green iceland we bring up that west southwesterly wind and that continues up to the day 10 maybe a little bit more unsettled uh, by day 10 there but uh, nothing all that interesting going on to be honest um this will be broadcast based on that ECM run from tometio.com uh, well, we're going to be going a little bit cooler over the next couple of days. I'm sure I could uh, winch across Scotland, actually, around Friday, but not for long. We're back into those southwesterlies again as we go into the weekend. Lots of dry weather in the south and east, you'll notice. What rain there is, is particularly to the north and to the northwest there. So, 
looking generally dry for the next 10 days in the southeastern corner. Just right at the very end, we do see some wet weather beginning to start pushing through there. But uh, a lot of dry weather in the south, always more unsettled up in the north. Uh, these are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles. Uh, actually, from last night's 12Z ensemble suite, because the um, Midnight ensemble suite hasn't updated at the Icelandic Met Office. So this is the latest set that I could get from the Icelandic Met Office. Um, 15 members of the ECM ensembles last night were showing low pressure to the north, east high pressure to the southwest, looking maybe uh, trying to hint at a bit of a cooler interlude for the northwest, but basically mild. Uh, all the way there. 13 again with high pressure. Now below pressure to the north. Things we're bringing in westerly winds. We've got eight with high pressure again just to the southwest. Around that we're bringing in the wind from off the Atlantic. We've got seven high pressure is to the south. Low pressure to the north. Again bringing in those my winds. We've got five with high pressure to the south. South low pressure to the north. I'm repeating myself quite a lot in this video, aren't I? Winds in from southwest, and then we've got three that are a little bit uh, colder, lower pressure shot dropping in uh, from Scandinavia, high pressure out in the Atlantic, and that brings the wind into colder northerly. In two week time, these are the options that we have. This gets us to the 8th of February. 15 members of the East um, ensembles with low pressure to the north, high pressure <laughs> to the south, and winds continue from that westerly direction. 14 with high pressure more or less over the top of the country. Might get a little bit of frost and fog with that. Um, 12 with low pressure towards Scandinavia, high pressure in the North Atlantic, close to Greenland. So that is turning colder from the northwest with those 12. Cold snap um, there. And 10 again with high pressure just to our southeast. Around that, we bring up very mild winds from the southwest. In uh, day 10 and day 14, 15, it looks like it's mild pretty much on most of those options. CFSB2 uh, finally meets a 500 millibar high tonight. It's breaking down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 25th of January to the 31st. High pressure is centered to the south and east. Low pressure to the north and northwest and we draw up those southwest winds so dry and very mild week two is going to be the first to the 7th of february high pressure just out to our west chop of low pressure you know scandinavia close to a cold snap there but probably still generally quite mild with wind coming in from off the atlantic week three is going to be the 8th to 14th of february <coughs> i'm so sorry once more but he low pressure Around Iceland, Scandinavia, high pressure is in the Atlantic wind again, northwest to south east. So that could be turning a little bit cooler, especially so for the north. And then week four, if you want cold weather, this looks better for you. It's the 15th to 21st of February, high pressure then becomes a mid Atlantic ridge, starts going up towards Greenland, chop of low, you see those Scandinavia, and that will get wind back in to a cold northerly direction. So we do eventually get back to cold weather, happens in the middle of February or the third week of February. Um, but before then, lots and <laughs> lots and lots of mild uh, weather to uh, get through. We'll see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Web. So thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Right, so that's it for today's video. So I hope it's all right just doing two videos a day at the moment. I will get everything back, you know, all the uh, add ons and whatnot will return uh, next week. But I am feeling quite tired and fatigued at the moment. So I just want to build up um slowly so tomorrow we'll have a 6 uk weather forecast we'll do 10 to 14 day out i'll probably do jma friday um and uh no live stream though so we won't be live streaming tomorrow night with the uh pub run as i say all the live streams and the additional add-ons and whatnot they will all come back next week okay you enjoy the rest of your thursday and for this one that's all for now and thanks so much